Hey everyone, welcome to the fifth lesson on HTTP requests. In the previous lesson, you have learned how to make an HTTP POST request to a fairly complex API. In this lesson, you will learn how to perform authentication with API requests that require it. For this demonstration, let's use the Shopify API as an example. Shopify is one of the most popular e-commerce store creation platforms and has an advanced API which allows users to control all aspects of their stores. Here's an example Shopify store created for this demonstration, and here's the Shopify developers page where the complete Shopify API is thoroughly documented. The first objective is to understand how the API works and how to authenticate a request. To do this, let's head over to the Concepts drop-down menu and select Using Shopify APIs, followed by the Authentication option. As you can see, there are two types of authentication, OAuth and Basic HTTP Authentication. For this example, let's select the Basic Authentication option. As you can see here, it is stated that the authentication will require the generation of a set of credentials. This can be done inside the Shopify store. To do this, go to your Shopify store and click on the Apps option. On this page, scroll down and click on the Manage Private Apps link. This is the page where you can generate the credentials required for basic HTTP authentication. Let's click on Create New Private App. As the private app name, you can enter anything you like. Let's enter Integromat and an example email address below. Below, you can select the permissions that the authenticated client will have when performing the API request to the store. For this example, let's give read and write access to the customer's option. Click save to generate the credentials. Great. As you can see, the credentials have been generated. Now let's create a new scenario and begin setting up an HTTP request. Let's add the HTTP app to the scenario and select the Make a Basic Auth Request module. This module is required because a request to a Shopify API endpoint requires basic authentication. As in the previous lessons, you should now see a list of fields that look very familiar. However, at the top, there is an extra field called credentials. This is where the credentials generated from the Shopify account will be pasted in. To add these credentials, let's click on the Add button and enter a key name, Shopify account. Then in the Username field, you need to paste the API key from your Shopify API credentials. As a password, you need to paste the password from your Shopify API credentials. Click on Create Key to proceed. Perfect. Now this request will be authenticated. Next, let's set up the request endpoint and parameters. For this information, let's head over to the Shopify API documentation and this time click on the Docs option on the menu and select Admin API followed by REST Reference. On this page, you will be presented with a breakdown of the complete API that allows you to control every aspect of your Shopify store. For this demonstration, let's select the Customers option from the sidebar and then select Customer from the dropdown. This page features all the information regarding the API requests that can be made to the customer data on the Shopify store. Let's scroll all the way down to the Endpoints section. Here you can see the endpoints that requests can be performed to. The first endpoint with request method get is used to retrieve all the customers that are currently stored in the Shopify store's database, as well as all their data. Let's make this request inside Integromat. The URL of the request will be this. However, this URL is incomplete. There is an important element missing. This is the store's subdomain, which needs to be added at the beginning on every API request. This store's subdomain is this here. Let's copy and paste it in front of this URL. Great. The next step is to select the request method, which as seen earlier is of type get, so nothing needs to be changed here. 
Finally, it is important to parse the response of this request so the data retrieved is automatically converted to an IntegraMet friendly format that can be mapped to other modules. Now, let's save this scenario and execute it once. If everything works correctly, this request should be successfully authenticated and all the customer data should be retrieved. Great, the request has been successfully executed. So to recap, when making a request to an API, authentication may be required. In order to obtain your authentication credentials, follow the instructions provided in the API's documentation. In order to make an authenticated request inside Integromat, you need to use the Make a Basic Auth Request HTTP module. And this concludes this lesson on HTTP authentication. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and happy automating.